Hello YouTube, welcome to a quick YouTube video from Test and Tuned. In this one we're going to have a quick look at the new SSD drive I've just purchased. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video because these new SSDs are getting so cheap it's ridiculous. This 480 gigabyte one from uh, Gigabyte is actually currently available for under 60 US dollars. I will put a link to it in the uh, description if you want to try and get a hold of one. But yeah, I thought I'd have a quick look and see how good they are what you get for such a little amount of money and how they do perform in a real case scenario. The reason for buying the drive is to set up a Intel based Hackintosh system, which I might get into in another video, but just to clarify the specs, this is rated at up to 550 megabytes for the read speed and 480 megabytes for the write. I'm only going to be using it as a boot drive and it's not a main machine, so I don't really need to worry about M2 or faster speeds than that. So let's get into it and See what's in the box. Cool. Comes with a typical limited warranty information card. I don't think anybody ever reads and the drive itself nice and secure in a vacuum pack style package it'd be really good not to drop it in the first video we do on this channel so there it is gigabytes two and a half inch um, two and a half inch case form and of course SATA and power connectors there it weighs nothing feels like an SD card. Right. So for the sake of this test, I'm just going to mount the drive. I'm just going to place it on the tray right now just to basically run these performance tests and make sure it's going to work. If it does work as expected, I will properly mount it into one of the actual drive caddies here. Um, but for now, that's how it's going to run for these tests. Let's get into it. Okay, so the system's booted up with the drive for the first time. Let's go and initialize it. So we'll go PC manage, down into view, and I've got disk management. Now this system was originally set up, well actually it started as a uh, gaming machine, then turned into a media server, uh, so it's actually got quite a few hard drives in it. It has recognized the drive, you must initialize the disk, and we'll go master boot record, that'll be fine. And she come up here. She be right down here. Disk eight. All right, that is the pool. Where is it? Disk five. Here it is. So let's go and new simple volume. Yes. Assign the following drive letter D. That's fine. Format NTFS. That'll be fine. There it is. Okay, cool. So we're into the SSD. I'm just going to set up a program and we'll do some speed tests. But yeah, the initial installation was super easy. Okay, so we have AS SSD benchmark tool up and running with the drive selected. So let's get the test started. So there we have the results from AS SSD and you can see there that the read and write are sort of within 15% of the gigabyte claim speeds which I'm definitely happy with. I was sort of dubious at how these were going to perform for such a silly cheap price. Um, yeah and you can see there that those sort of speeds they're going to be fine for anyone that wants sort of a mass storage SSD. Um, there are room, there is room for performance improvements if you're going to run it as a main boot drive on a modern system. But for me, testing my Hackintosh build, this is going to be perfect. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah, thank you very much, and we'll catch you on the next one.